Hi, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this glowing effect on some antlers on a deer. So this is the before, this is the after, and you can see it's quite magical. So I'm going to start from the beginning and walk you through the steps. So the first thing we need to do is to isolate the antlers. So you can use the pen tool or you can come up to here, use the object selection tool and just draw over the antlers there and it's made a pretty good selection. Now what we want to do is copy that. So I'm going to press Control Command C and then I'm going to come down to the bottom here and make a new layer. And then I'm going to press Control or Command V to paste. Now I want to click back on the background layer, come down to the bottom and I'm going to add a color lookup. And I'm going to select from the top here I'm going to come down and select the Moonlight 3D LUT there. So that's now given us a, a bit of a moody look to the image. So I want to come up to the antlers layers at the top here. I want to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to press Control or Command J and that's duplicate the layer. And I'm going to change the blending mode to Linear Dodge. So I'm going to come down to here where it says Linear Dodge Add. Then what I'm going to do is come to to the uh, stay on this this top layer up here I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert to smart object so we can edit this now duplicate this top layer so control or command J then I'm going to come up to here where it says filter we go to blur and then I'm going to select Gaussian blur and I'm going to add pixels of around about five or six around there's pretty good that's okay then I'm going to duplicate this again, so Control or Command J. And then what I'm going to do is just click on the Gaussian Blur Smart Filter, which is this here. And now I'm going to push this up to around 20 pixels around that mark. Press OK. And we're going to do the same again, so Control or Command J. And then again, clicking on the Smart Filter there, and I'm going to push this up to around 60 pixels around that mark whatever works best really for your picture but around 60 and then press ok then what i'm going to do is come down to the bottom and i'm going to add a new layer and then i'm going to select the brush tool you can press b or come up and select the brush tool we want to make sure that our brush hardness is set to zero so we've got a soft round brush there at zero and what we want to do is make sure that the color here is set to white. So you can click on these little boxes here, click on the arrow and it will change it. And then I'm going to make the brush bigger by just hitting the brackets keyed on my keyboard. And I'm going to make two dots. So one there and one there. And what that's going to do is just give our antlers some nice glow. And I'm going to come up to the top here and change the blending mode to soft light. And then I can just reduce the opacity down to around 40%, 35% around there. Just take the, the sting out of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to group all of these together. So I'm going to click on the top layer here and then hold shift key down, down to here where it says layer one. And that's selected them. When press control or command G, that has then grouped all them layers together. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom and we're going to add a hue and saturation layer i'm going to check colorize and also i'm going to come down to the bottom here and we're going to clip this to the previous adjustment so we're just going to click that and that basically means then we're just selecting the uh, antlers there okay so you want to adjust these to whatever color you want um, so i usually push the saturation up to 100 uh, percent push the lightness up uh, and then you can select whatever color you want. Um, it really doesn't matter. You just can get creative and take your time with that. Um, again, changing these will these values will give you lots and lots of different effects. So something ar around there is, is quite good. So once we've done that, we're going to come down, we're going to add another layer. And then we're going to select the color from the antlers. Now we're still in the brush tool here. So what we need to do is hold Alt or Option down. We'll get this selector up. So click on the color of the antler that you've created. And then what we want to do is come up to the flow, bring that down, 
to around 20% around there. And now we want to paint around the deer or the stag's head and body. So what we're doing here is creating glow from these antlers. There we go. So we can also reduce the flow as we go and fall off, the light falls off further down from the stag. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is change the blending mode to color, uh, color dodge. There we go. And we're gonna come up to the fill value up here and we're just gonna bring that down so you can see where that works. So that's completely off, I reckon around 40%, 30% is quite good. It's just to add a little bit of color to the top section there. That's it. So we're gonna come down and add another layer. There we go. And with this one, we're going to come down and just paint the floor. So I'm gonna push this flow back up a little bit. There we go. And that just gives us some light falling off from the antlers there. So again, we're gonna come up and change the blend mode to color dodge. Here we go. And change the fill opacity, just bring that down. And that will give us a nice glow on the bottom there. So again, you can take your time with this, more than what I'm doing. Uh, same with the previous layer here. If I come in, I could just paint a little bit more back in probably on that one because I didn't do do it too too much. So I could just bring that down. There we go. Um, so yeah, that gives us a really, really nice effect. Okay, now we've done that, what we want to do is we want to merge all of these layers together. Okay, so what we do is we hold the shift key down and come down to the bottom here and click once and that will select everything. And then we come up to the top where it says layer and where it says merge visible, what you want to do is hold the Alt or Option key down, click, and then what you'll see is that a new layer has appeared. So this is basically copying everything that we've done and creating a brand new layer, okay? Then come up to the top where it says Filter, and then select Convert for Smart Filters, and say OK, and then go to Filter, and then we want to select Camera Raw Filter. This is going to bring us into Camera Raw, which we can now adjust. So we can just make some more minor adjustments just to get some really, really nice tones going and uh, just make it look a little bit better. So you can take your time with that. I'm going to maybe add a little bit of texture, some clarity. There we go. Uh, maybe let's come down to the curve tool and just add some contrast to the image. There we go, that looks good. Come back up to the basic, let's add some contrast back in there as well. Press OK. And there you have it. That's how you do it. So that gives you that lovely glow effect. You can um, get some really, really nice effects with this. So we come to the history panel, Click on the camera there, that gives us, that's our before, and that's our after there. So I hope you've enjoyed that. The All the steps should be below this video, so if you want to look at the steps there, you can use them as reference points. But I look forward to seeing your images. I hope you've enjoyed that. Take care, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.